Well, hey guys, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. I am Tom. Come on in. Hey everybody, it's Tom here. Back for another video, and uh, we are not in the shop. We are actually at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the car show, truck show, and swap meet. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Unfortunately, I'm carrying a monopod, so it's going to be a little bit shaky. Hope you guys won't get seasick. I'm with my buddy Wes. What's up? And uh, Brad is going to meet us shortly. You've met Brad before. The place is packed. It is uh, Friday mid-morning. So uh, once we get inside, I'll show you all the goodies. Well, we just made it in. It is packed. We're getting ready to hit the swaps and sales, see what kind of goodies we can find. We'll just give you a quickie here. Well, buddy Brad made it. Yay! <laughs> so here we go, guys. We're getting ready to hit it. You want to just go right here? Yeah, Might as well. Might as well. Alrighty. Give you guys a look at what you uh, what you're missing. This is a semi-annual show. This is a spring show. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's what we're guessing is maybe that's why it's so packed today. Oh, there you go, they got a 36er there. Sweet. See if you can find any machinist tools. Snap on punches. To sit like this, but man, I still want a good bun of money for them, even used. Some big sockets. Some drill guy bits, indexes over here. One to ten millimeters. Let's see what they got. Is it real stuff or? Hey, how you been? Nice 57 there. Got some signs and plates. Knickknacks galore. Haven't found any machinist tools yet. We walked around about half an hour though. This place is packed. 
Alrighty, found the tool guy. Looks like he's got uh, import machine and stuff, but we'll see if he's got any other knickknacks. I don't know if this is the same guy that goes down to uh, Moultrie, Georgia. See some R8 stuff over there. Let's see what we can find. Yes, yeah, right. Oh, it's most of it's import stuff, but. We got some 40 and 50 stuff maybe. Uh, got some carbine. Some shell mill. Some big taps. Carbine. CNMZ 432s, 433s. by uh, end mills some nice size boring bars <laughs> so I've got a big one <laughs> got a right hand not a left <laughs> so what one and a quarter maybe tooling that's probably a one incher there Decent uh, threading tool with 10 inserts. Uh, see some stones, parallels, clamping kit. Let's get to some of the good stuff here. Some big chucks. You want those them clips to cut the metal? Well, I'm not seeing anything that uh, I definitely need, so hopefully we'll find some other places. Got some uh, Petrolina here. Stoplights. Oh, there's the bell. I like that light. What's the combo view? You get the bell. You can you can still buy these. They're not bad, yeah. yeah. I can internet for like sixty bucks or so. Oh, really? These are cool lights, isn't it? Oh yeah, no. Like the old uh, Hess stations or uh, shop, man. Oh, that jet looks familiar. We used to, you ever use one of them? Uh, I got hit in the chin with them one time. <laughs> and I've seen many Jeeps fall down yeah. when they got jacked up too high in the front bumper. Oh, I did. I talked to the... Are you filming? Yeah, well, go ahead. Okay. Um, Jennifer finally texted me back about John. Oh, okay. Hopefully you guys can see the cool old army jeep. Some sort of restoration attempt. See how bad the floorboards are. The camera will pick it up. Yeah. Should have a little 134 Go Devil motor in her. They have the uh, VIN on. No, not the Didn't. When did they start putting the VIN right there on the front of the? Uh, they just put it on the frame. Was it, was it on the frame right around in here? No, it was on the front bumper. And they run it on the on the side of the hood. Is it got a star? 
Alright. Depends on how they did the resto, I guess. Yeah, that's true. See, so yeah, it says 41. Yeah. 12, 24, 41. Christmas Eve, 41. Wow. Oh, let's see here. We got the other tool guy here, but he's just got the the normal cheap stuff. Nothing good. Still haven't found any good machinist stuff yet. <clears throat> We're about a quarter of the way through this place, though. Got a furnace. Nice. Five hundred bucks. Tomorrow's the big day for the cars and trucks. Today is more swaps and sales. Over at the uh, Chevy truck vendor, Wes is going to grab some body mounts. He's got an old. Get the lipstick on the Late 40s. What is late 40s pickup truck? Yeah. I think he's got. Oh yeah, he found some. So this company brought the big truck, 18 wheel or full of Chevy parts. A little view. <laughs> Check her out. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Sixty sixty nine AMC Rebel. All right, Hilltop Machine Works is uh, taking a load off. Currently out of service. He's currently out of service from making crazy shit. Literally. <laughs> this was Brad's idea. Hey. <laughs> Tom, hurry up! Hurry up, Tom! Camera. We're wasting. Here, wait, wait. Here he comes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Did you wash Behind your hands? The scenes productions. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> Yours is 50 watt? 55? 55, just 55, like that one yeah. right there. Good look at orange 55 over there. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Pearl white interior. That black one looks good. 58. What's that? An orange. Uh, I think it's bad. <laughs> it's not bad, but I don't know if I'd want it all the time. It'd be like after probably a couple years, I'd want to repaint it. it yeah. Oh, good looking. Uh, Heck yeah, that's a sweet Chevy. Yeah, yeah, suburban. Yeah, it's sweet. Suburban. Yeah. You know that circle will be on the road for another 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> 
I want to go through a new one party. Yeah. <laughs> Scrap yard. An old Mustang too. Look at that thing. And that's cool though. Nowadays. Yeah. That's coming back. That style. Oh yeah, like pre '80s. Pre oh yeah, big time. But, I mean, just tool around that thing would be kind of fun. Bus. Damn, I think pretty. Oh, it's VW bus, That's yeah, yeah. Bucks. They're coming back out with one. Looks like it's gonna build another one. Let me do a panoramic here real quick at the speedway. Got some cars here today. Like I said, tomorrow will be the uh, the bigger event. jump in this but that's the best I can do I'm trying to hold her steady for you guys hope you're enjoying this the weather is perfect but we do have some rain rolling in so hopefully we're gonna get done before it comes in you're inside, you're inside the walkway? tomorrow this whole infield will be filled with cars cool 55 truck I believe they got this awesome one over there. Like four wheel drive conversion on it. Oh, okay. I'm just getting some footage. Oh. Vendor rows here, stuff. You good? Some Mustang parts. So Wes is going to pick up this four link back half here. I want a little over a thousand dollars, but it's a complete weld in. You get the shocks and everything with it. The only thing you don't get is a housing, but uh, he's going to put this in a rat rod. So cool setup. This is what it's going to look like on the back half of his truck right there. Well, I figured I'd uh, show you what I got. It um, wasn't a bad show. I didn't find any machinist stuff, really. There was uh, you know, the one vendor there that I showed you that had uh, some stuff. It was mainly all import stuff. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing worth buying. And then um, did run across one guy that had a table and he had a few uh, Starrett mics. Oh, excuse me. God pollen is out today <clears throat> and a uh, brown and sharp uh, depth mic but I don't need any of them so I passed on that so that was all I found machinist wise did pick up a few knickknacks so let me uh, show you what I got uh, first off picked up this uh, Eagle Oiler number 66 um, don't really need any more but uh, I asked the guy how much you wanted for it and he said five bucks so I mean you know <laughs> Five dollars for an Eagle Oil is a real good price if you know these things go for, you know, about thirty bucks on eBay. So I grabbed that. So now I got an extra oil can and uh, scored this nice big funnel. It's uh, galvanized, so perfect for when I do like oil changes and stuff. Um, I save the oil and I put it in five-gallon buckets and then take it up to the recycler. So good to pour it in there and not have it splash around and spill everywhere uh, the same guy that got the Eagle oil from <clears throat> he had this uh, scale 
This is a Detecto. It's zero to 100. So he wanted 15 bucks for it. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. So I can, uh, you know, weigh some stuff with it and uh, get an idea of how heavy some of these chucks and stuff are in the shop. Grabbed a 36 grit belt for the belt sander. That was five bucks and it's uh, made in Germany. So a nice quality sanding belt. And with that, um, I finally found a vendor that had some 12 inchers. So he wanted uh, 10 bucks a piece and there are three in here. So that's a really good buy. Uh, one is 36 grit and the other one is 60. So uh, we've got some 12 inch replacement discs. And lastly, it seemed to be uh, <laughs> a bunch of people had tubs. So I grabbed two and um, that way I can uh, use it to uh, put all these parts in that I'm making and running off the mill and the lathe. So this would be perfect small trays to, uh, to put the pieces together as they, uh, as they get made. So anyways, that was just the, the short haul. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did the best I could with, uh, you know, trying to carry the camera uh, as smoothly as possible. So hopefully, um, you know, I didn't get you guys seasick with it, uh, with me walking. And, um, anyways, that is it. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.